Welcome back. I'm Jill with thecarefreekitchen.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you my recipe for some really easy mini quiche. And these mini quiche are super easy to make. They're perfect for a family gathering, a holiday meal, or a lazy weekend breakfast. Okay, so before we get started, be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me here, and I'll show you all kinds of fun and easy recipes that your family will love. Okay, so these are the ingredients that we're gonna need for our mini quiche. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I have these uh, little tube of crescent rolls, but actually you can use pie crust too, if you don't have that. Uh, whatever you have in your fridge is great. Okay, and then I have some eggs. I have a little bit of Parmesan cheese, some ricotta cheese, which makes it so creamy and delicious. Then I have, um, there's actually a few different kinds of cheese in here. You can use Swiss, mozzarella, cheddar, white cheddar, Gouda, whatever you have on hand is great. And then I'm actually going to put some, a little bit of ham in half of them. And then you can use green onions or chives. And um, today we're going to be using some green onions. Okay, and then you're going to want to start by preheating your oven to about 375 degrees. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to start with my crescent rolls here and I'm just going to pop those open and this will serve as like the base of your mini quiche. These also work really good, these little mini quiche. Um, you can make them like on a Sunday morning or something and then use them for a few breakfasts the following week. They store great in the fridge. All right and you can also make these crustless as well. Um, I I don't know, my kids like that little bit of crust there on the bottom, um, but I, when I make them for me, I usually just do, I'll just spray the pan and then put the egg mixture in. You'll need a little bit more of the egg mixture, but that way you can have like a low carb version if you're looking for that. Okay, and I'm just going to spray these muffin tins with nonstick cooking spray. Have you guys ever tried this? It's the coconut oil spray from Trader Joe's. It's probably my favorite thing from Trader Joe's. Okay. So back to it here. All right. Um, so in the bottom of these muffin tins, we're gonna want about a two inch square piece of muffin. And it's okay if it doesn't actually, if it has like a few holes or something, it's fine. Um, but you know, just something like that. Then we're just gonna put that there in the bottom. And if you're gonna make these ahead of time and then save them for the rest of the week, we like to just store them like in a covered Tupperware container with a lid and then reheat them in the microwave. And I actually love just a little dollop of sour cream and salsa on mine. That's the, my favorite way of making them. Okay, and then to prepare my green onions, I'm just gonna clip the end off there. And then I wanna do these, dice these pretty small because it's not gonna take very long for all of this to cook. And I need about two tablespoons, so. And I'm just gonna dice them up just a little bit more. Okay, and we need about two tablespoons of that, so I'm just gonna put that right into my bowl here. All right. Okay, and then in this, I'm going to use four eggs. Okay. And about a cup of ricotta cheese. Oh, that's probably about it. Okay. And I'm just gonna give this a quick little whisk here. Get that all combined. Ooh, it's so pretty. Check that out. Okay, and then into that, I'm also going to add about a third of a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And a couple cups of cheese. And you can use Swiss, Monterey Jack, Pepper Jack, if you want, just about anything will do. All right, that looks perfect. It's all combined now. 
Okay, and then for these quiche, I'm just gonna use a little ice cream scoop and put it in there. You don't want the filling to go over the lip of the muffin tin. So just about one scoop is great. Okay, and I'm actually going to dice up just a little bit of ham for the other half. I've got a few people in my family who really like ham. So we'll do half with ham and then half without. And this is a great recipe to use up some leftover ham from the holidays. Or you can just use some deli meat, that's fine too. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit, like maybe a tablespoon into each one. We'll give it a ton of flavor too. There we go. All right, and then I will go ahead and fill the rest of this with the egg and cheese mixture. Okay, so now we're gonna bake these in a preheated 375 degree oven, and we're going to bake them for 20 to 25 minutes. All right guys, here is my recipe for mini quiche. And these little quiches are perfectly golden brown on top. And the bottom of the crust, that little bit of crescent roll is nice and brown too. They slip so easily out of the pan. They are the perfect brunch or weekend breakfast. One thing I forgot to mention, if you want to save them for later, we like to just put them in a Tupperware container with a lid on it and it will stay good in the fridge for three or four days. So if you're gonna reheat it, just pop it in the microwave for about a minute. I even like to quarter it, put it in the microwave for about 30 to 45 seconds, uh, just until it's warm inside and then finish it off with a little dollop of sour cream and salsa. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode at the Carefree Kitchen. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow me here, and I will show you all kinds of fun and easy recipes that your family will love. And as always, there is a printable recipe on my website at thecarefreekitchen.com. You can just search in little mini quiche, and these will pop right up. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.